Okay, never mind. There it goes. <laughs> and I haven't even lost faith. All right. So I think we're I think we're ready now. Oh, we are. We All are. right. All right. So yeah, we're doing uh, more Silent Hill 2, the most relaxing game of all time. Yep. <laughs> yep. And I came back after the horrible tragedy that happened. Yeah, Jose got the uh, the worst end of the um the frickin' hurricanes. Yep, and tornadoes. Yeah. Where am I, anyway? Oh, you know what? I did not want to load my save state. <laughs> I'm st this this isn't this is in the apartments. Whoops. Let me reset. The, let me set. Let me reset the game. Me and Minus have been talking about Silent Hill two at the beginning of the stream. Yeah. And like I said, I am. Like I just feel like people are just mixed about the game. That's that's just how I feel, anyways. Okay, here we go. This is the correct save file. You want to hear something funny? What? I figure out it's the. I literally figured out of the freaking treasure chest thing. You mind? You, you mind uh, helping me with that when I get there? <laughs> I I, only, I I don't know exactly where I'm at in the game. If only I could help you with that part because that is actually randomized. That oh. part is actually randomized. Oh, it's random? Oh, God. <laughs> yep, it's actually random. <laughs> Silent Mountain 3-1. Oh, I, 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 need, I need to get used to these controls again. These, these controls are really weird. Okay. I will say this. Uh... Jacob. What? Sometimes the numbers aren't even shaped properly. Oh. Oh, no. Yep. Meaning, like, you will get confused of what the number looks like. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, I think I found it. I think I found the frickin' lock. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know how to unlock that yet. I don't even think I've found the combination. You have to find the combination all over the hospital. Oh, God. Well, I mean, I have a shit ton of keys. I have the purple bowl key, the roof key, the lapis eye key. I actually I actually found... Uh, I actually found one of the codes. It's basically imprinted in blood. Oh, really? Another one of you guys are back? Yep. And basically, so, and basically, uh, once uh, you see the numbered blood, uh, you'll see a lot of misshaped numbers. Say, it'll be say like for a dang and rompa uh, question. Now, say for instance, if the number was supposed to be like number five and stuff, you will literally missee it as as a number seven or four. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out where I haven't been yet. Um, well, obviously we know that S10 or S11 is the save room, S14 is the lock room, but I don't know where I haven't been yet exactly. I can go in the shower room. Wait, can I go in the elevator? Have I been in the elevator already? I don't even remember if the elevator works. <laughs> I don't think it does. Wait, there's a cover over the elevator's call button. Did you get that message too? The elevator? <laughs> no, not really. It doesn't look like I can use the elevator right now. Well, once again, uh, Jose is still ahead of me by a little bit. But I am, like, kind of catching up, I think. <laughs> I mean, I'm still, I'm still, like, you know, lost in the hospital. I probably should have gotten, like, a 10-minute head start or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, you probably could have. Yeah, whatever. So I need to figure out where to go. I think I can go upstairs. Although, we will see. You'll see. You'll need to use the fire emblem <laughs> to open everything. Yeah, because everybody knows the fire emblem is the solution to everything. It really is, actually. And I found the elevator key. Oh, wait, the roof key. I, I can go up here. 
Okay, so it's clear that you have to get the elevator key at some point. I haven't been to the roof yet, so let's check that out. Yeah, I actually got the elevator key. Um, looks like the lock's broken. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's it's weird. I know it's weird that I keep saying Silent Hill 2 is relaxing, but I, I don't know, it kind of is. <laughs> There's something on the floor. Is this a diary? May 9th, rain. Stared out of the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th, still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I don't pathetic. Weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 11th, rain again. The meds make me feel sick today. If only- if I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? May 12th, rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th. It's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released, that I've got to go home. I blank. The diary ends here. There are no more entries. What was a diary doing up here? Whoops, I did not mean to read the diary again. <laughs> I meant to run away. You just need to run away. Yeah, it's like uh it's like that anime quote where the guy is like, I mustn't run away. I mustn't run away. Is there anything up on the roof? <laughs> I don't think Jose, did you do anything on the rooftop? <laughs> mm. Not really. There's, there's just nothing up here? That's weird. It looks like if I pushed hard, I can move it away. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Here, it's Pyramid Head. You found Pyramid Head? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn, okay. Uh, I figured out what to do, I guess. wonder how that's gonna look in the remake. <laughs> Yeah, for the record, guys, we are still playing the PS2 version. We're not going to be playing the remake. Um, I've seen the remake, though. I watched Vinny play it. It looks fun. But, like, the combat it actually looks good. Okay, I'm in the special treatment room now. That's new. Oh! Hey, I, I unlocked the door. Okay. Cool. If there's one feature that I want that remake should have done is that I wish it gives you the option to change to the original music. I mean, that's that should just be a given. Like, every game should do that. Exactly. Like, why couldn't they do it? TTYD Remake did that. <laughs> the remake so, is yeah. Nostalgia Bait. Isn't it, isn't it kind of Nostalgia Bait? There's something written on the wall. Um... Five, nine, wait, no. Yeah, five, nine, three, seven. Turn, turn, turn the numbers. Better not forget them. So I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. Okay, I'll have to remember that. If that is indeed randomized, then I'm going to have to screenshot that. <laughs> I mean, the game kind of did let you screenshot it. <laughs> Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> okay, so that's the only reason to come in here is to get that combination. Also, I am almost fucking dead. Jesus Christ. Let's see. Let, oh, let me use one of those. Uh, let's use the health drinks for now. There we go. Was it worth it to use four health drinks? Maybe. Also, I'll reload my guns while I'm here. Um, yeah, there you go. Also, is it true that there's no boss fights in this game? I don't know. <laughs> but it seems, it, it seems like an, an interesting take on uh, Silent Hill if there are no bosses in this game and it's literally just pyramid head encounters. But I don't know. Okay, so where am I right now? This takes me back to S12. So I actually think I'm getting kind of close. I don't know. 
It doesn't seem like there's any enemies in here. I killed all of them. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I'm on my own for figuring out this combination, I guess. <laughs> Let's look at that. Let's get a look at that screenshot. Um, so it says, uh, well, actually, that could be a four. That kind of looks like a four, honestly. Whoops. Are there any other buttons I can use for this? Or is it just, oh, dang it. I keep, I keep leaving the menu by accident. Okay, so I think you can only ch switch the numbers one direction. Yeah, okay. That's good. At least you don't have to do, like, a specific combination. Alright, so let's see. Uh, let's try, let's try four, let's try four, nine, three, seven. Whoops. Four... Three, nine, seven. And then there's also this. Hmm. Okay, I might actually need to look up what to do here. <laughs> Get an idea on how this puzzle works. Alright, let's go to the chapters. Patient wing keypad. Is that the is that the thing I'm looking for? Mm. No, that's not it. The keypad is a different thing. Uh let's see. Avoid the nurse if you didn't kill. Re-enter the patient wing to continue. Inside the shower, uh, inside the shower room. No. Um. Your health will be critical. Oh, okay, so that, so that my health was critical because of Pyramid Head. Enter the patient the cell with the I wheelchair. there really is a boss fight, after all. There is a boss fight? <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's where I am right now. Let's see. The only one that opens... Is a claustrophobic, claustrophobic padded cell. Examine the bloody wall to reveal be a sloppily written note in four-digit code. It may be hard to okay. decipher, but examining it will add to your mail for quick reference. Okay. Yeah, you really need to go to the padded room. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 I think it's best for me if I do a save state, if I ran out of options. Let's see. Examine the box. It has two key locks and a two combination locks. Um, hmm. Oh, apparently I need to use my, uh, my keys on this. Yeah, let me, let me try that. Let me look at the keys. Wait, hang on a second. Where's the... Okay. Can I use the purple bowl key here? Okay. Dang, I keep opening the freaking... The freaking map, bro. And the lapis eye key. Okay, now I can actually, uh, now I can actually look at the locks. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. Um, 
Okay. Let's see. Well, well, I finished. You also found another code in the imprint on carbon paper memo in examining room three. Exam room three? Did I go there already? I don't remember if I've been to exam room three or not. Let me look at my map. Um, apparently I did. Where do you check your memos at again? Oh, here we go. It's down here. You know where the memos are? Yeah, um, number written on the whiteboard? That's not it, is it? Um... I might need to go back to the um the exam room three because I don't remember if I've actually been there or not. Oh well, let's just check it out anyway. I'm not worried about falling behind because you know it's a, this Silent Hill Two is a relaxing game. It's not a game you'd rush through. It's it's an experience. So I'm trying to remember how do you actually get to exam room three then? And some people say that they. And some people say that the game is really deep. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. I'm gonna go check out... Actually, I have an idea. Um, I'll make a save, and if it turns out that I already went there, I'll just load my save. <laughs> that should, uh... That should help. Where am I now? Exam room... Yeah, I need to get over to exam room three. I don't remember how to get over there, though. Doo -doo. Oh, I found a save. Nice. Oh, Mario's going to save the game. Alright, I, I guess I'll go back down to the first floor and see if that's how I get to, um... See if that's how I get to the other staircase. You know, Jacob, I think it's likely that we're going to finish this game in November. Yeah, I don't mind too much. Okay, um... Hey, Jacob, you want to hear something hilarious? What? People wants to go... If People on October already wants to go to the hol straight up to the holidays. Well, those people are impatient. <laughs> oh, trust me, they are. But can you really blame them that that people are caring less and less about Spooky Month? Yeah, I'm not really feeling Spooky Month this much this year. It's just it's just kind of um I don't know, I feel like I kinda of wore out the Spooky Month name. <laughs> see what I see what I mean? So I think I know what you're talking about. Exactly, because like I said, people just wants to go straight up to the holidays right now since since I haven't seen commercials of people doing that right now. <laughs> yeah, why are they always, why are they already going on about the holidays? Because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Okay, I don't think it's I just, examined uh, this. It's just the rush that counts. There's a sheet of carbon paper still stuck in the typewriter. I st can still read the imprint left on it. I know it. I know the numbers of the box. 4674. It, can, it can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop. Who am I? I don't know who I am. Is who I am is who I am is. <laughs> so I, I just completely missed that, apparently. So that should, be in, that should be in my memo now, right? Um... Is it a imprint on carbon paper? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I actually did I actually did miss that then. <laughs> so I I think we're like almost done the hospital already, actually, then. <laughs> because if you're fighting the boss, that means you're probably at the very end of the hospital already. Oh yeah, for sure. 
So that's kind of cool. You know it what? is. And you know what? I'm getting a little more. Uh, I'm getting a little more comfortable with um, not looking at the map every five seconds. So that's another good thing. I don't know. With me opening the map every like ten seconds, it's really slowing the pace down. So it's probably a bad idea if I do that. Alright, so if I remember correctly, um, I need to go into S... what was it? S4? S11. S11 has the save in it. Yeah, it's like right here, I think. So yeah, there um, we go. let's just say combat is not one of this game's strong suits. <laughs> That's something they fixed in the remake, which... Hey, you know, good on the remake for actually making the combat fun and interesting. Because in this game, you just kind of walk up to an enemy awkwardly, you smack the shit out of them with the wood over and over, and they die, and they can barely touch yeah. you. <laughs> and I feel like the point of it is just missing. Yeah. Also, what? Is like there, for me, also, personally, I... I mean, honestly, I personally prefer to have tank controls. Louise, I'll take care of you forever. All right, so let's have a look at the, that combination again. All right, let's 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 um let's screenshot the other memo as well, and then I'll have a look at that. There we go. You want to know who? You want to know which game is gonna scream winner of best remake of this year? What? Persona Three Reload. Hey, I mean, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that winning. <laughs> okay, let's try let's try four let's try four nine three seven for the combination. Oh wait, the combination is already it's already changed. Actually, no, it's not. And then the other combination is. Four six seven four. Oh, okay. Well, I got rid of one of the locks at least. <laughs> um, hey, four is not the answer. Is it seven, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, you are right. The numbers are pretty hard to read. <laughs> I told you so. Like, okay, so what number do you think is shaped like? Well, there's one that looks like a 4 and a 7. <laughs> but here's the trick. It's actually a 5. It's a 5? Yeah, it's actually a 5. Because at first I thought it was yeah, a... You're right. it, yeah, you're right. It is a 5. That's fucking weird. Because right. literally, literally to me, it looks like a 7 that's shaped like... It's it's literally a seven with a line on top. Wait, and there's a piece of hair inside the box? Yeah. What the fuck am I gonna do with a piece of hair? Actually I think I have an to idea. To get the elevator key. Hang on, I have an idea on what I need to do. Combine. Wait, hang on. Oh. Do I have to combine the needle with the hair? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to combine them. Oh well, let me go to the shower room real quick. It's really easy if you use the two items to combine them. Wait, where? And select where? it. Wait, where's the shower room? Oh. Well, the, 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 the order that you have to do it is kind of weird. Let me try something. Um, God, stop opening the map, bro. So I hit combine, and then, and then use. Oh, okay, I see. 
So I actually figured out the puzzle. I just didn't know how to fucking combine them. <laughs> Why do you hey. think it took me so long to figure out to unlock the treasure chest? Well, I fi I figured it out. Well, that's good. Anyways, we should probably go, um, should probably make a save state. Yeah, there we go. All right, to the elevator. Now if I if I have if I had to guess, I probably need to actually like use the elevator key. Yeah, you do. That's uh, I don't know. There's something kind of neat about that. I I like it when games like they actually require you to open the menu and then use the item. That might just be a a weird opinion. So where can I go with this that I haven't been? Floor 1? Because I don't think I was able to get to floor 1. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we have not been here before. Alright, well, new area, guys. Lock is broken. Yep. We've made it to a new area, and I found more handgun bullets. More bullets. Now we got a weird, uh... Oh man, I'm glad this game kept uh, Silent Hill 1's, like, really frickin' rusty aesthetic. <laughs> like, to me, that just screams Silent Hill. It's like all this fucking rust everywhere. Just wait until we get to Silent Hill 3. Things will be a bit different. Where's my rust? <laughs> C2, I can go inside. Oh, that girl is there. Run to here. How do you know about Mary? What's the big oh. deal? Why can't you just tell me? There's nobody here. Yell at me if I don't. No, I won't. I was friends with Mary. Elevator time. Friends. Should I anyway, go? Let's go. We can talk about this later. This is no place for a kid. He seems to know her well, place around here better than frickin' James does, though. What makes you say that? <laughs> eh, I mean, I guess kids are very... They're very good exploring, so it's fine. Later, okay? But it's really important. What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I want to go get it. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Oh, I think I think my widescreen mod is still turned on. <laughs> what do you mean? Come on, hurry up. I I saw like I saw like Laura freeze in place as she ran off screen. <laughs> I don't think I have the aspect ratio set quite right. Yeah, in the back. Uh, what did you set it up to? What did you set it up to? Okay, so it's kind of weird. I have the game in four by three, but I have the widescreen cheat turned doing, on. Bro? It's further back in the desk. Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. I've just kept the game like this. I mean, I don't think this game was meant to be for widescreen. I tricked you. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? 
<laughs> open the door. <laughs> Is this game? Me to open it? Huh? Because this game really was originally four by three. I mean, obviously, it's a PS2 game. But you want to know what else that you should also realize? What? Flat screens actually do came out somewhere in the mid 2000s. Oh, I see. Yep. Yep, literally widescreen is becoming huge. I guess, I, I, guess, I guess that explains why F-Zero GX supports widescreen. Exactly. Alright, so we have, like, meat... We're, like, fighting the meat boss. Literally, I'm starting to know my stuff quite well. How much did that do? Oh, that didn't do too much. Oh my god, I keep like going the wrong way. Yeah, maybe this. Oh, back out, back out. Fuck you. I'll use a health drink. Okay, now my shotgun didn't hit it. I'm really glad I saved the shotgun ammo for the boss. <laughs> I haven't even used my shotgun. I gotta reload. Yeah, you're not gonna get me. Okay, so I kind I do have to get a little close to shoot these guys. Rock. Oh, did I? Am I doing it? Oh, there's another guy. There's a third chicken. Man, look at all these chickens, man. Oh, re the recoil. The recoil's real. Okay. That's, I'll be fine. that's the room that I should have found it. Well, as long as you keep running, you, know, you won't get hit by these guys. Okay. Bruh, the shotgun bullet missed, dude. I mean, at least James is a tough guy. He can he can tank some hits before he you know oh, he is. before he oh, dies. He, is. he just doesn't want to go down easily. Yeah, he really doesn't. Unfortunately, the shotgun is um not, Heck, even you... not very accurate. <laughs> Heck, even you told me that before. I mean, that's just what I read. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying that even you told me that I don't go down easily. Oh, dang it. I ran out of shotgun bullet. <laughs> Alright, well, time to be time to go to the handgun then. Oh wow, the handgun is really fucking good for these guys. Oh, I think I did it. I think I killed them. What do you think I used the handgun bullets? Yeah, the handgun was way better. It's like a weakness. Well, because it stun locks the chickens. <laughs> oh damn. That frickin' that frickin' like air raid siren. <laughs> James. James. Oh, this is like a hospital POV. Oh. Hey Jacob. What? Name one game do you know that released in 2006? Sonic 06. <laughs> hmm, what about Persona 3? Wow. Oh my god, that's fucking weird to think about. Persona 3 came out the same year as Sonic 06. That is so did 
So mm -hmm. did Xenosaga 3. Xenosaga came out the same fucking year as Sonic 06? That's so weird, dude. Alright, it's time to save. I don't think, I don't think At Atlas uh, was... Was... I don't think Sega owned uh, Atlas during uh, the 2000s. Not yet. I think it was probably around the 2010s or so. Hmm. It was 2013. Oh wait, hang on. Can I go in the shower room? Yeah, yeah. It was actually 2013. 2013. Yeah, that's like that's around the year that they were starting to think about making Persona Five. Okay, so yeah, where I can I think go? So. Let's see. C three. C. Can I go in C one? I haven't been in C one yet. Literally the famous announcement of when Persona was about to... Persona 5 was about to be released. Oh, God damn it. I think it was three years of development... ...for freaking Persona 5. Since... Since I think... Since I think Persona 5 Vanilla came out in like 2016? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was in 2016. Literally, it took like three years to develop the entire game. They sure took their sweet- they, they, they took their sweet time making Persona 5, and now they're milking the shit out of it now that they made it. <laughs> you know, considering the fact that the game takes like, what, 70 hours to complete? Ah, uh, well, vanilla, yeah. Royal takes like a hundred. Uh, I think it probably, I think it probably takes like eighty hours. Hello, can I grab this health drink? Either eighty or ninety hours. Oh wait, I can only grab the drink if I have my flashlight on. That's weird. <laughs> hey Jacob, you want to know what's the stupidest thing that I'll do? What? To see a to see a freaking Persona Five long play. <laughs> That is stupid. Alright, so for the long play of vanilla, it takes like 55 minutes without sleep. Wait, 55 minutes? No, I mean 55 hours. <laughs> Damn, 55 minutes, that's like a short-ass game. If it was the case, but yeah. Literally took 55 minutes to complete. And yeah. you wanna know I mean, what's the long if, play? If they're speedrunning, that's not too bad. You want to know what's the long play of Royal? What? 76 hours. 76? Yeah, 76 hours without sleep. Damn. Like, even I completed my mines in, like, 80 hours of Royal. I I literally I literally took no breaks if I wanted to complete the game. <laughs> Dang. Oh my god, I keep fucking pressing the stupid uh stupid map button. I don't know what game it is, but there's some game where you open you can open the menu with the triangle button. And uh I keep pressing triangle to open the freaking menu, but that just opens the map. <laughs> Okay, so I've been in C1, I've been in C2. Can I go in C3? Because I think C3 is empty. The lock is... Wait, 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 C3 is locked now. Um, well, the only place I can go now is either into the garden or in, um, in the elevator. Let's just check that the, this door is broken. Broken. The elevator is open. Okay. Well. How do I leave again? I don't think I meant. To, I don't think I meant to go. Well, to floor. Uh, I don't. Mean, I don't think I meant to go in the elevator. Where does this elevator take me? 
Well, hang on. It could take you to any. It could literally take you anywhere. By the way, is there anything in? The, can I go out to the garden, or is that locked? Mm, I don't think it's necessary, at least for now. Okay. Ah, uh, well, we're gonna be fighting more of those nurses, so I think uh, using my handgun bullets is gonna be important. No, oh, trust me, using the handgun bullets is necessary. I just hate fighting these damn nurses. Because they, they like pull out the frickin' whip on you and it does like a crap ton of damage. Oh, I found a copper ring. Bro, why is there so many of them? I'm gonna be wasting all my handgun bullets. Oh my god, why are you still alive? Well, what do you think I save bullets for? <laughs> I shouldn't have to waste like 30 bullets on three frickin' nurses, man. Yeah, exactly. Like, how many bullets do I have left? I'm down to six handgun bullets after that. What the fuck? I might have to switch to the plank then. I'm just wasting ammo here. Yeah, it's not worth wasting bullets on these guys. Like, you're better off just taking a couple hits than wasting like 30 fucking bullets on them. Man. <laughs> hey, I'm not making that mistake again next time. Alright, so let's just start with the end of the hallway. Where does this door go? This room has a med kit. Thanks. Or first aid kit, sorry. There's a piece of paper on the bed. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. It was so small and dark, and I was so afraid to I was so afraid I dropped my precious ring. But I'll never, I'll never, don't ever go back there. The dry cell battery and the basement storeroom key. Hmm, interesting. Oh, and there's some bullets on the bed. Okay, it turns out we're not done the hospital yet, then. There's actually quite a bit no, more of it. We have much to explore. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good dungeon. Oh my god, bro! This is the worst room to be in. I am almost dead. Hold on, let me use that first aid kit. Now, let me make a save state before I uh, die. Yeah, the plank, the plank is so much more effective. Well, looks like I... I literally have enough health drinks. I got lots of health drinks now. Yay! Well, that's good. Uh, well, actually, how much, how much health do I have? Um, six health drinks, four okay. first aid kits. That's not bad. Okay, I'm hearing some static. Hmm. Alright, we already checked like all the corners. <laughs> That's broken. What kind of game show is this? <laughs> broken. Broken. Okay. <laughs> We're not even in Halloween yet. 
Okay, it looks like I explored everywhere. <laughs> I kinda hear I kinda hear it coming out of your mic. I'm not sure what the fuck is going on though. It's basically like supposed to be like some kind of creepy uh game like game show that you're not even in but somehow got your name. Oh. <laughs> yep. Okay, I can't open the fridge. What do I need? Some grease or something? Oh boy, can't wait. Can't wait for the freaking game show now that I have to look for. It'll happen once you go to the elevator. The elevator, huh? Is there anything even in this room? Oh wait, hang on. It's definitely Walter White. Walter. Okay, apparently... Apparently I can't even leave this room. I guess I, I guess I do need to go to the elevator. Cause that's the only thing I can do. Broken. No. No. <laughs> oh. Okay, I can't go to the th second floor apparently. Oh boy, more nurses. I feel like I have to solve a puzzle after that. That's what I'm getting, getting the feeling. I feel like I have to to memorize the questions. After that freaky, creepy, creepy ass game show. <laughs> creepy ass game show. Yep. Oh my god, I'm almost dead again, bro. What the fuck? What is happening to you? <laughs> this is why I shouldn't have set the difficulty to, like, normal. Why do you think I go with easy mode? Alright, come at me. Come at me, nurse. You know, Jacob, sometimes you just... Just freaking jump straight ahead whenever it comes to difficulty. Keep, just keep hurting the nurse. Sometimes the rule is is that if you begin to play the game, you just have to start from the beginning. And if you gradually memorize the more and more you play it, then you I can thought, change. I thought normal would be like the you know the base difficulty. No, not not in this case, no. Oh, wait, hang on. We're back here again. We're back on the third floor. So all these are different now. These are t technically different rooms now. Okay, well, let's start at the back then. Locked. 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 All of these are locked. Oh, wait, no, this one isn't. Handgun bullets and oh, we got our first ampoule. Or, uh, how do you say that? You know, I already got it. Um, ampoule. I don't know how you say that. It's basically a completely full heal. <laughs> Which um, I I barely used these in the last game, so hopefully I'll get more use out of them. Also, I think there's a note on the bed. There's a scrap of paper, just some doodle, something's written on it. She's an angel, no one knows, only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread, they fall from the weight of their crimes. 
Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them and s them sin and sins and sin and sinner alike. She saves me. She is an angel. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, who was on crack writing that one? Oh my god, the freaking nurses are back again, dude. Well, Jacob, I feel like I feel like the next goal is that we have to collect rings. I didn't go in that door. Wait, no, I did. I'm gonna start ignoring the enemies, bro. <laughs> Alright, you do that while I survive more. I need to conserve my ammo. I always use the plank. There are empty medicine bottles here. Is this what Maria was taking? Is Maria sick now, too? Hmm, nothing else in here? Okay, just a few more rooms. Well, that was funny. <laughs> Damn, that was, a, that was a close one. Hey, Jay, we want to look funny. Like yeah, every what's up? every time I send you, I send you the video like early. I feel like you're you're trusting me that I do this all the time. What do you mean? What do I mean? Like ba basically, I send you the link to the mega file. Just well, well like just you give so me you, you, give, you give me your footage uh, on time. Yep. Which uh, basically is good. Basically, it's like you trust me in that. I mean, it, you certainly give me it a lot uh, faster than everybody else does. Because <laughs> everybody else, I sometimes always... I have to wait like a week for them to send me their freaking footage. <laughs> Why do you think that I always get things finished in time? I mean, plus, I'm assuming you probably want those videos off your hard drive anyway. Pretty much. Alright, I guess you want to go to the second floor now. Or not. Like, after I finish the footage, I just immediately... I just immediately drag it to the Mega yeah, website. Yeah, and, and you just let it open? Or let it upload? Yep, I let it upload four hours. Alright, going to the basement. There's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. Move the shelf. Yes, move the shelf. Unless I need unless I need uh, grease for that too. <laughs> Cause that would be That's annoying. what happens when you have shellfish. <laughs> no need to be so shellfish, man. <laughs> nice one. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little break so I can go piss. So uh, I'll let you guys enjoy this atmospheric music. <laughs> Right, first aid and handgun. Oh yeah, you know what I you know what I should probably show you sometime? 
Hmm. What do you want to? What do you want me to see? Uh, I should probably show you off um, the Paper Mario ROM hack that I've been working on. <laughs> I don't think I've, I don't think you've seen it. <laughs> oh, Maria. Hmm, probably not. Yeah. But I also opened up a treasure chest. Sorry. Oh, Again. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway, what do you mean anyway? You don't sound very happy. Oh, to see you. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of stuff. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me. I am so happy that I found the treasure chest. Yes, I gotta go hunting. No, I just then stay with me. Don't ever yep. leave me alone. <laughs> You're supposed to take what care of me. What other games could you think of that you would open a lot of treasure chest? So Wario. Did you find her? Yeah, but probably legends. She ran away. Wario I legends? Find her. Yes, as opposed to you Mega Man Legends. Yeah, Wario Legends. What a great I game. Her before. Yeah, definitely. I just feel sorry for her. <laughs> it's so definitely her. the cancelled so follow-up to I feel like yeah, to the freaking First we, have War First we have Wario Land, and now we have Wario Legends. <laughs> Alright, can I go down here? Time to go down to the basement. Ooh, what's that on the floor? Hey, Jacob. Copper ring. What? When are you ever going to play Mega Man Legends? Mm, I don't know, whenever I'm in the mood for it, I guess. I haven't really... I don't know. It doesn't look like a game I'd enjoy, but hey, hey, you never know. Maybe I will. <laughs> like, even people are nostalgic for it. Well, I mean, I think one of the things that turned me off about the game was the tank controls, but I played frickin' Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Those have tank controls, so maybe it won't be that bad. <laughs> Some people say that the Legends might as well be better than... Then Mega Man X five or six. And then that come out come out around the same time. Yes. Oh crap. Okay, so where do you think I should go once I get the copper ring? <laughs> well, I have used the lead ring. Well, I haven't gotten that yet. <laughs> I just have the copper ring and the dry cell battery. I don't know what that's used for yet. Now yeah, we can use the copper ring. Mm. Yeah, well, so where did you go after you got the copper ring? Did you go to like the third floor or something? Yeah. You want to know how you you want to you want to know why you need the lead ring and the copper ring? Is it for the battery? <laughs> No, you have to use it on a painting. Oh, I haven't found that yet, but maybe that you I have, have maybe that I have Mary now, I'll be able to do something with that. You have to find a specific room to find the painting, and to to use it as a key. Oh God! It's, it's the freaking. Uh... Freaking nurses again. Alright, it looks like I'm going down. Still kicking? That lock is broken. Oh wait, I haven't been to the storeroom yet. Let's try going there. This room looks suspicious. Bullets, first aid, handgun bullets. Oh wow, this, this room's decked out. 
room's got all the good stuff. I mean, it is a storage room, to be fair. There's nothing useful here. Cool. Oh my god, why are you back, bro? I just killed you! Oh god! <laughs> that actually startled me! <laughs> you got startled by something? <laughs> yeah, I f You won't believe this, I actually f Literally, Pyramid Head is actually following me. Oh damn. <laughs> Rose out for blood. Oh, for sure. Die, nurse. Get out of here. Can't have shit in Detroit. You dead? You dead yet? Uh, well, she didn't die, so that's good enough for me, I guess. Here, let's make a save after that. Oh, shit! The buttons don't work. Mm, what else do we have here? I can't go in there. Oh, crap. Oh, my God! What? <laughs> Well, somebody just died. Silent Skyscraper 2 is on sale. <laughs> That's a great game, bro. I love Silent Skyscraper 2. Oh, wait, don't go in here. Don't go in here. That's gonna respawn the frickin' nurses again. You've gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. There's more of them. And they really ramped up the difficulty in terms of annoying enemies here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And now these guys are just everywhere. I'll be right back. Hi. How's my health doing? Am I dying? Eh, I'm kind of dying. I'll use a first aid. Yeah, wait, wait, hang on a sec, so they, it's already on sale? What the fuck do you mean it's already on sale? The game hasn't even been out for like a week. <laughs> that is kind of crazy though. I think honestly, I'm not like too crazy about um, like people like rushing through games day one. I know I'm kind of guilty of that though, but I don't know. Which door was- which door could I go in? Was it this one? People like- people like play Silent Hill 2, it comes out. And, um... Can I talk to you, by the way? No. It's a joke? Oh. <laughs> I mean, still, though. People beating the game in, like... You know, like two days or so, like, ha ha, I beat Silent Hill 2 in two days. <laughs> it's like, is that supposed to be a flex or something? I'm just checking to see if there's anything I can do in any of these rooms now that I have Maria with me. It doesn't look like it, though. Hello? Any of these rooms I can go into? I don't think any of these are unlocked. No. Okay. Um, we could try going up the stairs. That's locked. Yeah, I love all these locked rooms. That's just... That's just a funny thing about these Silent Hill games, is every room is locked. Okay, so... Okay, I'm back. Oh wait, hang on, I can go to floor two now. Well, I'm ready to come back. I'm Before ready. Hey there, <laughs> Are you trying to be Spongebob or something? Yes. 
Well, that's funny. Wait until you go into the section, Will, while Pyramid Head is chasing you. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. Oh yeah, and uh, expect some weird camera angles. Eh, that's that's normal. <laughs> You'll be lost, I'm telling you. Silent Hill. <laughs> I, I, I found the game show, by the way. <laughs> you actually found it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and I got the key. What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? One. Walter Sullivan. Two. <laughs> Walter. Three. Eric Dave. Now for our third and final question. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Vale. From there to Pale Vale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Just one road. No one more. road. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? One, Lockwood Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Uh, where, where's Steve Harvey? I want Steve Harvey back. <laughs> If only he was here. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, I need Steve Harvey. That's that's a better that's a better game show. Of course. Okay, that was just kind of like a whatever. The lock is broken. Okay, and it looks like every everything looks dark. Oh, and it is really freaking quiet here. Well, hang on. Let me try. There's one thing I'm gonna try first. We're gonna try the fridge again. Let's see if I can open it now. I have more, um, I have more grease. I can maybe open it. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Oh. There you go. Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Oh, thanks. Well, that was rude. <laughs> thanks. Oh, there's the lead ring. Okay. So now we have both of the rings. Now we just gotta find that painting and use it. So, it seems like I'm not too far behind, actually. You really aren't. Yeah. Lock is broken. Broken. Mm. Hello, is there a painting in here? No. Okay. Broken again. Hmm. See something drawn. Are those hands searching for something? Or are they just a sign of pain? Can't use that.
Ah, oh, dang. I thought I, I thought I could do that. Do you know which room? Do you know which, Do you know which room that painting is in? <laughs> mm, not really. What about the uh, what about the room with the hands? There's like these hands on the wall. Is that it? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Well, time to go to the guide. All right. Nightmare Hospital, which is where we're at right now. All right. Let's see. Um. Open lead ring. Um. We compare to leave the hospital. Return to the elevator and head back up to the third floor. You may remember that weird looking door with protruding hands on it. But if you want to collect the prizes, um, head to the employee wing and enter the storeroom. Hmm. Um, head to the employee wing. Okay, let me have a look at let me have a look at that. It's too dark to read the map. Wow, thanks. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, this is the second floor. Okay, we should probably go back to the third floor then. Is that the door with the hands? been fun working on Down Bad Edition, though. Been having a lot of fun messing around with code. Because that's my first time actually screwing around with code. What makes you say that? Um, I've never really, like, dealt with code before. So, uh -huh. this is my first time actually, uh, you know, understanding it. Oh, okay. Um... Why don't you zoom out the map? Oh, there we go. Well, there's the restroom. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Uh. Okay. Go back to the storeroom. Oh, okay. That should be simple enough. Okay, so you have to not mess up the uh, combination on the chest then. Pretty much. hoping to come out of that unscathed. <laughs> Thankfully the stun, the, st the stun lock on these guys is really good. <laughs> eh, it took a little bit of damage, it's not that bad. Alright, so which one of these is the storeroom? That's the save. You know what? We can save, why not? I shall save after I go into the storeroom. Okay, okay, I see the chest now. Alright. Um, let me just see. Okay, I'll try this once without looking it up. And, uh, oh god, it doesn't remind me what the questions are. Hang on. The, it's, it's, it's in my memo, probably. Um... Three, the three needles map. Okay, never mind. It's not in. It's not in here. Hmm. All right, another first aid. Um. Okay. I think it's two, one, 
three? Let me try with two, one, three. Okay, that is not the answer. <laughs> Alright, we are safe scumming this shit. What are the actual answers? Um, I had the last one. Wait, hang on. Um, it's three, one, three. Oh, I had, I had it. I almost had it, actually. Okay, let's try that again. Three, one, three. So what is actually in here that's worth it? I got shotgun shells, shotgun shells, shotgun shells, shotgun shells. Ample, ample. Oh, that's gonna, f that's gonna help a shit ton. It is. Dang. Well, I almost had the quiz right first try, so I'd say I'm, you know, decent. I'm paying attention. Alright, let's save again. Bolt. Love the, uh, <laughs> I love the noises for the save menu. Bolt. Boom. Okay, where should I go now? Uh, let's see. Head to the strange door right beside the elevator next to the uh, okay. The door next to the elevator, gotcha. That shouldn't be too bad. It's locked. There's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D. Oh, okay. Can we use the... Can we use this? I put the lead ring on the hand. Okay. And then we use the copper ring. There we go. <laughs> you didn't pay attention, I got something wrong. Yeah, I, I almost, um, I almost got the quiz right first try. I just had the first question wrong. But, uh, I just reloaded. I mean, I was gonna probably reload anyways. There's a oh, note. Yeah, Jacob. What? You wanna know what I was doing after I have no internet? What? I actually replayed Mega Man X4. Oh, based. <laughs> yep, I actually, I actually sit through it in one day. I mean, I can beat that game in like an hour and a half. It's not that bad. Oh, I know. It's just that I was going through trial and error. <laughs> You're trying to speed run it, I guess. Not really. I took the director's right. key, the one to the museum. I hid it in. I hid it behind the prank woman. When I went out for the day trip, I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I am not a criminal. I just wanted to replay it all over again. Uh, sorry, and it seemed like X4 is your favorite game. <laughs> it is one of my favorites. And you want to you want to hear something even funnier? I am much more used to uh, to Zero more than X. Mm, is, I mean, Zero's playthrough is technically like a minute or so faster if you know what you're doing. Oh yeah, I know. It's just that I... It's just that I feel like I know how to play as Zero more. Yeah, even though he takes more damage. I know. That's what I... And literally, to me, that's much more fun. Yeah. Alright, I think this is where Pyramid Head's gonna show up. Oh, for sure. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I, I see him. <laughs> yeah, just don't get caught by him. 
Well, um, Maria's not doing a very good job at that. <laughs> You'll see what happens to her. Not a, not a good end for her. Yeah, it really isn't. <laughs> it's like he lost his wife all over again. See why people say this is a depressing game. <laughs> it really is. Like, I wasn't even joking. This game is truly depressing. It, it's much more depressing than horrifying, really. Alright, well, let's take the walk of shame then. Can't even go into the kitchen. Hmm. Well, time to figure out which way is the correct way. Yeah, now the music is all sad. <laughs> it's, that's some good vibes. Yeah, Maria got the bad ending. <laughs> very, very rip. I'm gonna assume none of these doors work, and I just need to leave the hospital. Yeah, you're actually going to leave the hospital. Oh, I can go in here. There's an old book here about the history of Silent Hill. Yeah, can I read it? He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Oh yeah, and here's something that you have to know. Once you leave out the hospital, you're just going to get irritated with the next part. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, you'll just be wandering around endlessly. What, if you have the map, what, then what is you're it? fine. What is it, more foggy? Oh no, it's not going to be fog this time. Wait, did you not get the map or something? Oh, I did. I actually did. Oh. Let's just say it'll be... not so bright. So it's not foggy, but it's not bright either. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which doors have I not been in yet? Basically, you won't see that much. Dang, I hate not being able to see. Yep, you're just gonna wander around blindless. I mean, blindly. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's the elevator. I think all of these are, like, locked. I'm just gonna check all the doors real quick. The lock is broken. Man, someone really needs to fix these locks around here, man. Oops, all locked doors. Can I go in the doctor room? No. Yeah, let's just try leaving the hospital then. 
There we go. Okay. Maria's edge. dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura's run off somewhere. I'm assuming that's like their his daughter or something. Mary, Possibly. What should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking? I'm only going to i I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. Oh yeah, you you weren't kidding. It is dark out. <laughs> See? That's why I'm giving that's why I literally gave you hints. Hmm. I could argue that it's much more worse than the fog. Well, where should I head to? Um, I can go down Randall Street. Yeah, which I'm gonna I'm gonna call it Randall Street. <laughs> oh great! <laughs> yeah, frickin' Randall Street. I know where this joke is going. <laughs> yep. Monsters Inc. reference. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a dead end. <laughs> okay, well good to know that I am limited. I have limited options. And I'm not fucking dealing with these damn nurses. I hate these enemies. I, I was cool. I, I was I was much happier when the gingerbread men were walking around, but now freaking nurses are annoying. Which um, they look a lot less like gingerbread men in the remake. <laughs> they look more like uh, they look more like chocolate guys. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm not trying yeah, to sound no, and, and I'm not trying to sound racist. They just look like they're made out of chocolate. <laughs> And I also like they they puke at you instead of like breathing out cinnamon breath. <laughs> um Okay, I'm going the right way. Hi, I'm Saul Street. Did you know that you have rights? Hmm. Saul legally changed his name to Street. I don't think there's any doors here. Okay, now I really am lost. Yeah, where are you now? Uh, I honestly have no idea. Well, you checked your map? Yeah. But I am getting really lost. Hmm. Um... Says I need to go to Gonzalez's Mexican restaurant. So I guess we'll go there. I'm trying to trying to get cancelled. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to get cancelled, bro. Well it sure sounds like it. <laughs> I swear I'm not racist. <laughs> I'm just saying, they're made out of, like, milk chocolate, you know? And they shoot, they puke on you. You know, that's, that's the typical, typical Silent Hill ways. I believe this has a save point in it. There's a memo line, it says Barney. Oh, that's, that's the same. So now we're in, like, the actual, like, Silent Hill city, you know? Where, like, everything is made out of, um, you know, gr rusty metal grates and shit. Yeah, we can't have shit in Detroit. People are sensitive over damn well everything. And people are putting the entire alphabet in their name. 
Hello, can I grab this first aid kit? There we go. And, uh... There's some shotgun shells. Man, how many shotgun shells do I have now, actually? Also, what is this battery used for? I can't use that. Can I combine it with anything? I was like, did you ever figure out what the battery does? <laughs> mm -hmm. No. Hmm. You know what? Let's look that up. Maybe we can find out an answer. What does the battery in Silent Hill 2 do? Um. Um. Let's see. Uh, apparently you use it when your flashlight goes out. Well, my flashlight hasn't gone out yet, though. That's the thing. My flashlight's still fine. So I guess if my flashlight dies on me, then I can use the battery. This has nothing to do with Detroit. I know, I'm just making a joke. I always say, like, can't have shit in Detroit. I don't know why I always say that. Okay, we have, like, those weird mannequin dudes. Honestly, I'm glad to see those guys again, because they're actually pretty easy to kill compared to the frickin' nurses. I think that's actually their name. I think they're actually called mannequins. <laughs> and my health is doing good, too. So, we need to go up and then right to get to the Mexican restaurant. Uh. And there's also a burger shop. Hello, mannequin. How you doing? Okay. Um... That's not the restaurant. Oh, oh god, the nurses are back. They're just roaming around the streets like they own the place. Hey, there's the Mexican restaurant. Can I go inside? Um... The hell? Why can't I go in? That's weird. It's not letting me go inside. What are you trying to find? I'm trying to go inside the Mexican restaurant. Hmm, I think you do need a key. I'm just more surprised that it didn't say, like, it's locked or anything. Hmm, is it in the- is it in the bin? Can I check the bin? No? Can I go in this house? No, I just can't go in any of the houses. Wait, hang on. There's a letter here. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park. At the foot of the praying woman inside the ground. Inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing wrong. It may be uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Okay, so we got that now. And then we also have the wrench. So, one thing's clear, we need to go to the park. But how do you get to the park from here? Um, it looks like I can go up from here. I can also go to the Vatch- the Vatches Road. Hmm. 
I mean, the great thing is that the streets are so empty that I can just run past all the enemies and not have to worry about anything. And I can also find bullets. Hooray for bullets! Who doesn't love a good bullet or two? Many. Many people do. <laughs> I'm glad this safe room still exists. Ugh, how long have I been going for? An hour and 39? Not bad. Honestly, I'm thinking about probably ending it here. Mm, yeah, I think it's a good idea. This is not a this is not a bad place to stop at all. This is like, you know, a very safe place. We have an idea on where I need to go next time. I don't know where yep. you're I don't know where you're at. <laughs> have you been to the park yet? No, not yet. Hmm. Well, what have you gotten done? Well, I did got a key, and I found a letter. Then I just went into this abandoned place. Did you get the wrench? Hmm. No. no. I don't think so. Um, well, near the uh, Mexican restaurant, there is a wrench and a letter there. So, you can get that, but I'm probably gonna s just save and call it here for today, because I have an idea where to go. So, I think, actually, I think I may be ahead now? I'm not sure. So, I don't remember if I, I don't remember anything about a key, honestly. And, uh, Zeppi sent, uh, Borger. <laughs> I like Borgor. <laughs> That's pretty dope. All right. All well, right. well but... we'll just make a save state too, just in case. Well, anyways, None guys, thanks for watching uh, Silent Hill Two. We got we got a decent amount done. We beat the hospital. We're in like the dark streets of Silent Hill now, or whatever you want to call it. And. uh I guess we're going to be, like, exploring around and just, you know, taking in the atmosphere. Yeah, so, uh, we will. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see everybody in the next episode. I don't know how far we are in the game, and we've gotten, what, two dungeons finished now? Yeah, we probably did. Let me just get an idea on where we need to go next. Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, Dark South Vale is where we're at. Oh, actually, we are half done this game, I think. Because I'm looking at the chapters, and there's uh, 13 chapters. And we're on chapter 7 out of 13, so we're roughly halfway through this game, it looks like. Yeah, we are, actually. So, uh, that's not bad. Alright, well, we'll see everybody in the next episode, so uh, see you guys then.